Welcome back. Now we will be looking at again an additional feature in your mapping. How do you do value mappings and fixed value mappings? Okay, as we saw, value mappings and fixed value mappings are enable you to making changes on your values, right? Let's 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 look at an example. Let's look at uh, the sex, right? Let's look at execute this code. All right, all right, and execute this and expand this. Here the sex is M and F. M stands for, we all know M stands for male and F stands for female. But what if your target system expects you to explicitly change if it is M into male and if it is F into female. So let's go ahead and do that, right? So I'm double clicking on my sex, editing my mapping and now going into this functions called conversions. Okay, go into the standard functions called conversions and first we will look at fixed values. Okay, select fixed values drag your value and put it here right now align it and double click right so here you give the key the input key i'll say m and i'll say male i'll say yes i will say female right now the other thing is what happens you need to tell if, what if the lookup if this is the key and this is the value so the, if the input has m it will say male if the input has f if it will say female but what if the value does not exist? You have multiple options. Use key value will just take the input. Use default value. I can put in a default value or I can say throw an exception. So let's go ahead and say throw an exception, right? And say save. Okay. Now let's execute it. I'll execute. Okay. All right. I expand. And I say, say male and female, right? Whereas my input had m and f now i'm going to go ahead and for a transgender i'm going to say t let's say t for transgender and execute and now you see it says hey i don't find anything for t because i've done an execution so first let's go ahead activate our mapping and just test it end to end as well to make sure it works end to end right so i've activated my mapping and now i'm going into my message mapping I'm going to upload my file. I've uploaded my file. And once I've uploaded my file, I'm going to my communication channel monitor. I'm stopping my data and I'm starting. And I'm going into SXMB Moni now. When I refresh it, I have a new message. And this message should now have, the output of my mapping should have male and female, perfect. Now let's go ahead, make a change to my file. Like we have here, we also have a trans, no, we don't have a transgender now. So let's duplicate subtree and add a transgender for T. We expect the mapping to fail, right? So let's go ahead and add this data to my file to file, edit, save. So I've saved my file. Now I'm uploading my file again, upload, okay? Now, if I go into my communication channel monitor, I'm stopping my channel, I'm starting my channel. And once I do that, I go into here, I should expect a failure. Why? Let's look at it. And the error says exactly what we wanted, that the value is not available. So you can go into detailed trace statement here. And here you should be able to see the detailed error that says no value found for T, right? So that is the problem that we have. Now, let's let's go ahead and fix. So now, obviously, it's easy, right? You know how to go in and add the fixed value. But do note fixed values, adding a value into a fixed value is equal to a hard coding in PI. The reason is your message mapping changes cannot be done directly in your non-development environment. So if you want to make a change or add an entry, you need to make a change in development and then transport it to QA and production. And in, 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 in real-time projects, this should could be a challenge because your customer could come and tell, hey, I don't want to, you know, my key values, that could be much more entries that I want and I want to keep adding them and I don't want to do a transport every time when I add an entry. And but then if it is going to be a transport, this could take a lot of time in multiple organizations. So is there a better way to do it where I don't need to do this hard coding within my mapping? Yes, there is, and that's the answer to that is to use a, instead of a fixed values, to use a value mapping, right? So now let's change it to a value mapping. I'm going to drag, so I'm again in my conversions. I drag the value mapping, I drop my value mapping, 
and I'm going to use a value mapping. And out here, let the value mapping context be the default one. The source agency, let's call it SRC agency 00. Source schema, let's call it SRC schema 00. Okay, same way for the target agency, TGT agency 00. TGT schema 00 and what same way what if the if the lookup fails throw an exception okay let's just copy this into my note clipboard okay I'll save it and mapping activate right now there's one more step we need to do before we can test so let's go ahead and now we need to define something called value mapping in my integration directory so I go to my integration directory I go to my corresponding, I close all, sorry, I close all. Now in my integration directory, I go to tools, value mapping. Yeah, you see the value mapping, go to tools, value mapping, and give the value for the source agency. I'll say source schema, I'll say target agency 00, target schema 00, and say, display right now I can add my key and my value so I say mail m mail and I give a group name I say value mapping 00 just give a group name okay I say f for female I say vm again the same group name and for now let's not have the transgender let's just execute it with just male and female so I've saved my value mapping right so I went into tools I went into value mapping, I gave my source agency, source scheme, target agency, target scheme, the same way I maintained it here. And once I do that, I can go and add my entries. Now I go here and I activate my changes. And once my changes are activated, I'm going to go ahead and test my mapping. All right. When I test my mapping, it is successful. And you see, it has taken the male and the female. All right. Now let's go ahead and upload the file again. Right. So if I'm going to upload the file again, upload, go to start, communication man channel monitor, stop, start. Okay. Refresh. It is failing again and the reason it is failing is the same reason as before the transgender t is not maintained right if i come here here you see now it is talking about value mapping source agency source scheme t is not found right so i'm going to go into my um, object here into my value mapping so I'm, let's close this right if i want to maintain it again what will i do go to tools value mapping say source agency zero zero source schema 00 I'll say target agency 00 and TGT schema 00 I say display my entries are displayed and I add my fourth entry third entry T4 transgender I give the group value mapping 00 I save and I activate my changes and when I have activated my changes, let's go and restart the mapping. Restart. Yes. Now I'm going to refresh. And my message is successful, right? And I go into technical routing payload. And now I see the transgender is perfectly displayed. So the idea behind value mapping is instead of maintaining the key value pass in the message mapping, you're maintaining the key value pass in your integration directory and that way you can make a direct change if it is required okay so there are other there is also a concept of value mapping by mass replication and this is the law and the idea behind value mapping by mass replication is what if you want to load hundreds and thousands of records would you want to go in and maintain them manually in the integration directory the answer is no sap provides a standard 
value mapping replication interface that's an extremely advanced topic but then when you want to do a mass upload of key value pairs into your value mapping table you also have a program you can also do it programmatically through something that we call as value mapping replication okay with this we come to the end of this session that we looked at user defined functions we looked at what a standard uh, user defined function is what a sorry what a simple user defined function is what an advanced user defined function is we looked at trace statements how do we add trace statements in your user defined functions how do we uh, you know what are the various levels of trace that pi provides how do you increase the trace and reduce the trace and also we looked at fixed values and value mapping to be able to dynamically uh, do value mappings in your in, in your mapping layer Okay with this we come to the end of this session and we shall see you again in the next session where we will be looking at more advanced features of your mapping see you then bye bye